is up guys? It is me Max back again with another guitar tutorial and today we are going to take a look at Love, I think that's how you should pronounce him, I'm not entirely sure yet, featuring Julia Michaels, There Is No Way. Beautiful song, very calm song and super easy to play on guitar because we've got uh, 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 four different chords and we've got one riff throughout the entire song. It stays exactly the same, nothing really ever changes, so we can just chill a bit, lean back, play those chords, calm down and yeah, without any further ado, let's jump into the song. So first of all, let's take a look at the chords we need in this song. And the first one is a G. We take our first finger and put it onto the second fret on the fifth string, second finger onto the third fret on the sixth string, and third finger onto the third fret on the first string. Then we move on to a D. So we jump from here to here. We've now got our first finger on the second fret on the third string, second finger on the second fret on the first string, and third finger on the third fret on the second string. And now we need our thumb. We wrap around our guitar neck here and use it to mute the sixth and the fifth string. That's the D. So we've got the G, the D, and then we've got an A, meaning we take our first finger and put it onto the second fret on the fourth string, second finger onto the second fret on the third string, and third finger onto the second fret on the second string. And we need to mute the sixth string here, not the fifth, but just the sixth string. So we have got the G, the D, and the A. Then we jump onto a B minor 7, meaning we take our first finger and put it across the first up until the fifth string on the second fret. We take our third finger and put it onto the fourth fret on the fourth string, and we take our second finger and put it onto the third fret on the second string. And we use our first finger or the tip of our first finger here, slightly touch the sixth string and thereby mute it. That's the B minor 7. And after that B minor 7, we go back onto a G. So we've got G, D, A, B minor 7, G, another D, A, and a D. And then we go back to the whole thing and we play that throughout the entire song. And you know what guys, by just strumming down once on each chord, you already know how to play the entire song because there is nothing we really have to do rhythm wise here because of the song being so calm. And we just strum down once on each of the chords and just chill a bit. So, G, D, A, B minor seven, G, D, A, those are the chords and that is the entire song. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop it a thumbs up, helps me out more than you might think. And if you haven't done so already and are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there in order not to miss out on any of the upcoming videos. And be sure to smash that notification bell as well or click it. Smashing sounds a bit weird in my opinion, but that's just me. And yeah, Instagram is down there as well. If you guys wanna check what's going on in my life or interact with me or whatever, be sure to hit the follow on that as well. And as always, I hope that I will see you guys next time.